I miss you already. What the f word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my g-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the f is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah, some serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my uh, my penis. I want you to leave. Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? And look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you, I've got a career! I don't need this, this, this crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Trevor? <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Deborah? Oh, interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right? Let's go have the time of our lives. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip! Exactly. Oh, Trevor, what have you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah, syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but, but it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. OK. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year, I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to the quarry and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. Here we are. What do you think? So, this is where Floyd is going to meet us, a strip club? Oh, yeah. That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> Here, right here. 
Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentleman's Club. All right, message Franklin. Deals in Dollar Store in South LS. I'm gonna bite somebody. You heard my mom, boy Mike. Not mean anything, Good to man. see you. Struggling pain, struggling pain. Evil saints in my brain. I feel you. Sometimes I miss the sunlight. These new booties is doing way too much. All good. Hey, yo, homeboy. You follow through this week, right? Another time! What I do for a line of blue? Word. Hey. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Strict schedule. And there's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately. 
approximately 1530. And Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature? Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I can help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why do you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on. 1330. One hour down. Two to go. Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. But what those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them! What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh...
thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. And the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. inside. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Ideas. It's gonna take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. I'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder. He's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know. No. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know? You are a man of action! You do not sit on couches, you take scores! You're back, man. We are back! All right? 
All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. It's great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job, and then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me, all right? This is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! That's my car, you prick! Fuck you! Hey, come on, where are you going? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza, fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no, no, it's clear and reason thought, finally! Stop your car, come on! Come back, we'll talk! Oh, I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Just stop the car, turn around! I'm going up there to see it for myself! You'll be disappointed! <laughs> oh, I'll be something! It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke, mirrors. Oh, the lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. Shit! Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davy. Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? Think. Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. But I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know.
Listen, Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos. Start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody, pay attention. No one gets hurt. Trust me, darling. Look at me, Amanda. It was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. Slow and steady, team. Slow and steady. His name is Dave Norton. Nice guy, realist. He gets the glory, I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? All right, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. Some depot out of town, you don't need to know. Trust me, nothing is gonna go wrong. Nothing. Yeah, I hear you. We gotta follow the plan. Everything will work out. I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby, we get out. Be happy. Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. We did it. Baby, we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. The thing is blown. Just this one job and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. A guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? Comes out in the light. Oh, give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. As if I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we got to do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot. I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! 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 Fuck. Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker. Let's have a talk. So, who are your pals, Trevor? Get out of the van! Find it! You see it? 
就是他，我看到他了。要留守他了，老七，我他妈的杀了你。Trevor, you dick. We got you, you idiot. We could have teamed up. 狗娘养的，小心。Oh, hey, back off! I ain't got anything against you people! Me and Trevor, we ain't friends no more! Ah, you want... ...but a boyfriend, huh? We know you're weak and feminine! This is how many guys you send to kill Trevor Phillips? You're making a mistake! Give yourself up! Where are you gonna go now? You're on ice, prick! Fuck off, you confused pieces of shit! You should have gone after the other guy! Hey, go fuck yourself! <sighs> Trevor. You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. Ha! <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Huh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? My Cody Santa. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! It's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. Up your nose. What's cracking? Hey, I jacked the last ride on that list. You ready to go? Shit, I'm ready to get paid, nigga. 
Crazy Man's got the other ones. Come meet me by Glass Heroes and Strawberry so we can do the damn thing. I'm on my way. at the garage. The boost, homie. How'd it go? Any problem? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Be careful, line it up on the truck. My favorite gangbangers. That's teamwork, motherfuckers. Boss man's happy, then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust-ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Hey, it's, uh, cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah, scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. They ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm going to catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things. But this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like... The boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But, you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule, maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah, the Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who, who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense.
It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. You know, part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tied with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulage. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real say. Ooh, it's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meet? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, if I don't want to reminisce. Your wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you! That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Vent. The turd was probably playing me from the start. Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. What you gonna do, oh fearless leader? All right, shit. I'll handle this. If you keep driving, I'll use the JB-700 to get rid of him. Man, Molly said there'd be some hardware on board. Shit, we'll see. Hey, take this headset. We have reason to believe you were transporting stolen vehicles. Come over to the side of the road. <laughs> they must have waited till we was out of town. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like it, don't it? <clears throat> You brought the cops right to us, dawg. Maybe you should have done the police ah! Now get on the shit. Come on, boss. Get them off us. Hey, you gonna get these cops off us or what? Franklin. 
Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm. We got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost them. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. We're taking a rise to the truck stop at Procopio. Roger that. I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of him. Head back to town. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, the last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? 